So I started out with this target to check zero. I used Federal American Eagle 55 grain factory stuff. Um, took five shots here at the crosshairs. Two flew way out. I've had bad luck with this ammo through my gun before. Um, I was just hoping to get somewhere around the bullseye to tell me that that was working. Uh, first shot landed right there. I think this was second and maybe fourth shot in here. Um, looked good though. I was satisfied with that. So then I loaded up a few rounds of that Fiochi ammo, Fiochi. Like I said, I was shooting the 50 grain V Max out of it. Um, the first shot, uh, my aim point was at this number one at 100 yards. Flew pretty high, hit up there, took a second shot, landed pretty low. I was worried for a second. And then I actually shot four bullets into those three holes. Um, this one right here, the paper is ripped in between these two. And I think one of them flew almost perfectly through that hole. And if I were to guess, it'd be this one right here. That's the one that had another bullet fly through it. Now, switching over to hand loads, I was shooting out of Silver State Armory. Uh, this was a factory load that was 5.56 brass. Um, I loaded it up with 24.3 grains of argot and got decent accuracy. Two inch spread, not real excited about that. But I loaded up six rounds so I could shoot two separate three shot groups and see if I could get consistency out of it, say if I did shoot a tight group, could I shoot another tight group with it. Um, it showed about even, so not too bad right there. Then moving over to some Federal 223 brass loaded up with 24.3 Varget. That looks pretty good, that's right around an inch. Um, same idea here, another 24.3 loading uh, using Federal brass again. and. Again, pretty consistent throughout there. Um, then I stepped up the powder a tenth of a grain. Still shooting pretty well. 24.4, 24.4. I think 24.4 shoots slightly better than the 24.3. Here's an overall look. Not too bad. Now while I was out shooting today, it was about 32 degrees, it was getting pretty cold here at the end of my shooting. So I ended up shooting all across this target just to save time from walking 100 yards down and back. So right here we're finishing out the 24.3, 24.4, and this is the 24.5 Federal cartridge load with the 24.5 Varget powder. Um, so there's 24.5 here, and then we started out in the center. Um, just outside an inch That looks like about an inch. That's looking pretty good. I like the 24.5 out of any of them if I were to choose one um, Here's a five shot group. I think I pulled this one. So if we block that out, that's not too bad with four shots uh, This was some hotter rounds. I loaded up these do show pressure signs. I just loaded a few of them up as bulk uh, right after I discovered that they shoot pretty well um, I do want to try and back off of the pressure a little bit, which is why I'm messing around with the 24 range powder uh, with the federal cases. Here's some Lake City 556. This is what I lo loaded my first rounds with Reloader 15 powder. Uh, so I start off with just three rounds in each weight powder. Um, here, 24 grains even. It's okay, not the greatest. 24.2, I did pull this shot, but I, compared to what we're about to see, I'm not sure how much I pulled it. The, the stuff really starts to open up. So at 24.4, I think this is about the worst I got. And these are good trigger pulls here. There's nothing bad here. This stuff just wasn't shooting well. And then point of aim here, we've moved to 24.6. I drew circles around these so I wouldn't get confused which bullet flew from which powder. Um, then finishing things up with 24.8. Starting to close back down in compared to this. I mean that's four or five inches across. Um, and then this is getting down into the two inch range. So I'm going to continue to push more powder through there. Like I said this was the first hand loads that I did with the 24 point whatever reloader 15. 
So I want to start from the bottom and work my way up. Uh, Federal cartridge 24 5 powder. We already went over that. This is another one of those hot rounds, 25.1 grains. Um, this does show pressure signs, but it shoots pretty well. That's uh, that's the catch there. And that's the same round right here. I just shot three here and shot five here. So here's what I have in mind uh, now that I've started reloading and trying to learn some things. I'm going to start a video series called Chasing Sub MOA. Um, no idea how many parts this will consist of. I mean, I can always change components. And this could be an ongoing thing, just kind of video, vlog, vlog it, whatever. Um, so at the end of this range trip, what I'm thinking is I'm going to push for more Reloader 15 powder and hopefully shrink those back down. Um, I haven't found the Varget load with this Hornady 68 grain bullet that I really like. The 25 .1 shoots well, but it has a lot of pressure signs. Um, I may have to go quite a ways down in pressure, but I don't want to, being that I uh, go long range shooting out in the desert. Once I find a load that works well, I'll take that out in the desert and I'll shoot hopefully 800 yards with them, maybe a little farther. We'll see how it goes.